So second hive, Lyndon, we've opened and had a look. What did you find? Second hive, full of honey in the top. Good population, still fairly quiet. No brood at all in the bottom and full of pollen. No sign of the queen. Uh, I didn't go through every frame. She could be there and not laying, but it looks like she's gone. Um, and what's the plan then? A few plans. One is to, we thought, of combining with the weaker hive next door, uh, using a joining board and newspaper method, mm -hmm. getting a completely new hive in here. Or the other method would be, could possibly go for a new queen. Uh, if it is queenless though, she could be rejected because it's been a, been a while. Yeah, that's what I've found. Okay, well let's have a look at the third hive now, Lyndon. Okay. So how does this one look, Lyndon? Uh, this is very good. I think um, this queen's laying very well, but possibly running out of room because mm -hmm. they're packing honey. You see quite a fat comb of honey in the, near the end. Ah, oh, yes. So um, she's also got very old frames. In, in spring and summer, bees really like new ones. Mm. Uh, queens like new ones to lay in. So I might uh, chuck a couple of fresh ones in there and then just rotate these up to the brood box and take the honey off. We've got a full box of honey on there as well. Mm. Great. Okay, so then what's this hive number five, is it? Number five, yeah. Number five, and what have you found in this? Well, this hive's quite different because it's, it's a, a new hive to the premises, and uh, this was brought here as a rescued colony uh, with all foundation. So two boxes of foundation. I think they had the outside frames of brood, mm. and you can see if you look down, the frames are older. But the queen's laid very well, um, very strong. They've maintained their docile nature and um, We've got some beautiful white yeah. comb in the top, almost capped. Yes, and so this was actually taken out of a wall, what, about six weeks ago, Linda? Six weeks ago, it came from Weatherboard House in Footscray, mm -hmm. and it was transported here on a bicycle convoy. Okay, so you can't get, more can't get any friendly earth than friendlier that. than that, so well done. And within that time, you've got a good um, 20, 20 kilos or so of uh, honey. Definitely, yeah. I'm really pleased with that one. Okay, so we're uh, down to our last hive, hive number six, and uh, what's the history of this one, Lyndon? Uh, this is a swarm from Greybrook, a very small swarm. Again, we put it all in foundation. Um, they've built much slower than the one next door, mm -hmm. but they've done a very lovely job. I mean, you can just look through, beautiful white comb poking through there, mm -hmm. and they've started more towards one end. So obviously this has been the warmer end for them, or the cooler end. Weather is, I guess, but I think we've had pretty much uh, wild, uh, mild weather. Let's have a look. Oh, isn't that nice? Yes. That's so you put a shooter foundation here. That's it. Yep, and that's uh, they've done the rest. They've done the rest, and they're even capping that off already. Wow! Can't wait to taste that. I'm going to have a little quick look at the brood. Uh, just to see how the queen is. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking through the frames and I can see a lot of bees down there, so I, I think the numbers are building nicely. Mm -hmm. let's, let's take the box off and I'll show you. Okay. Are you the right box, with lifting it yourself? Yeah, the okay. box comes off very easy, it's not been gummed together yeah. yet. You can see the queen's glue is still nice and shiny. A little bit of insulation in there, but not, not too much. Putting my finger here, it stops it pinging off. Oh, that's a good thing. Yes. And we can look straight down and see that it's pretty cool. Pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you can see the numbers. Mm. They're doing well. I, I, I try not to disturb this too much as I'm wor working through it. If I do want to clean up, I do it at the end. Yes, that's a good idea. Um, that's that's just my own way. Yeah, just my own way. I know some people like to have it all clean, but I, I find that they get really disturbed. Uh, there's nothing worse than trying to fight off bees as well as look for brood and stuff. Well, and not bad. No, uh, there's been a few of what perhaps missed cells or heater cells that have the nectar. A few of those. They've got some eggs down here in the, in the bottom corner. Yes, we probably can't pick them up with the camera, but uh, no. and a little bit of larvae here. Yeah. This side. Well, Look at that. It looks like a, uh, an animal that does not want to <laughs> I'll check an end one. Okay. Now, again, we're not going to go through every frame. It's just a matter of gauging if they've settled in well. 
So the swarm was collected about six weeks ago. Yep. And they had nothing to do, nothing to start with except empty frames. Empty frames, that's right. And they've almost got perhaps hard three quarters of a box of honey. Two thirds. Now these bees are getting a little bit more excitable, but you can notice that. One, the weather's cooling down. Two, my hive top has just been in another hive, so. Smell yeah, you think it's a good idea to wash it between hives? Yes. Uh, must, must do that myself. Have a, have a bucket of water. I don't transfer hive tools between sites. No. Which is why sometimes I might just go from one hive to the next. But if I was going to a different site, I'd just disinfect and sterilise the hive tool each time. So you're not transferring you know, diseases or... Okay. And we can see no indication of any diseases here. Very good. This is, this is the second to end frame and look, you can see brood. This is full of eggs in the empty areas. Yes. There's eggs in those empty cells? There are eggs in those, yeah. Absolutely lovely. Very pleased with that, and I think we'll get a couple of crops off of this before the year's out, mm -hmm. or before the, the season. I'm just going to wire up a new frame, Lyndon. That's it. Emergency quick replacement to get that lovely uh, frame of honey off. So, frame's all ready to go. Mm -hmm. and I've arrived today with my battery charger, put a little bit of electric through it. Have a nearly wide frame. Turn that done. End to end. Turn it up. Next one. Turn it up just so you can see the wires shadow coming through the wax. Don't want it to go through too far, otherwise it can actually end up melting all the way through. Yes, yes. One there and one there. Done. If I push that now. You can actually see, if you look very closely, you can see it's all grabbed onto the wax. Yes. yes. That's it, ready okay. to go. Okay, so we can now take one out because we've got a replacement. That's it. Okay, then, so this is the frame for the breakfast bar. Yes, this is the breakfast okay, bar. Okay, and... Uh, this will go into the hotel restaurant and guests come along with their knife and scrape a bit off, straight off the frame. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to give them a quick shake. Soft brush. So I don't get too upset. Put a replacement foundation in, which I'll put in the middle. And I simply do that just by parting all these frames like this in one, in one big go. Getting my hive tool down, I'm just pushing them all in one go. That's a lot less disruption to the bees. A lot quicker for me. Hi oh, Lyndon, these are, these are in a new new location? New location for the hotel, it's on their, their other building. On the, the hotel's on two buildings. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is their, their new herb garden. And uh, it's got citrus trees in it. So having hives here is completely new. Now it's a much higher floor, it's on the 10th floor. So it's um, possibly more windy, but these bees seem to be doing well. Yeah. So we're, we're just going to check out to see how they're doing. Okay, so... Within the shadow once again of the Rialto. And what do you see looking down? See lots of lovely honey coming in. Mm -hmm. Lovely white comb. Uh, they've drawn it out very nicely. And they've already started partially capping the top. Still got a way to go. Yes. This has only been here a few weeks. And the contrast with the other hives is interesting because you can see there's a little bit less honey in here. So obviously it is taking them a little bit longer to more, get it back to the 10th floor. A bit higher up and uh, maybe more wind through. More headwind, yeah. Headwind? Yeah. 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 Population-wise, I think they're, they're, they're about the same as the other hives. Yeah. Well, then the history of this queen, it's a swarm, was it? This is not a swarm, yeah. Again, delivered uh, six weeks ago by Rickshaw. And um, this was given a few uh, other frames of brood to get it going built up faster because it looked like it was in a more fragile state and you can see these frames here looking a little bit older down there that once again looks a pretty reasonable number of bees I think it's quite nice isn't it some drone comb in there so we'll, we'll check it out see what they've got see if that Queen's Lane mm -hmm.
she's laying. I'm just trying to see if there's any. Um, it's patchy, I know. It's a bit patchy. Yeah. Could be the old comb, couldn't it? Yes. The next frames are. Look, looks yeah, good. Look newer. Okay, let's have a look. I'll just see. I'm going to check this one for the Queen this time, seeing as we had one take off last time. Mm. Put it over here. Now, again, we're on, we're on the stone floor, so. No, no dirt on the bees. No Very convenient. Pretty good. That's nice. Not perfect, but no, I, I quite like that one. You like that? Yeah. Shout if you see her. Yes. Very good. I'm actually going to go and try and find her. <laughs> so you're going to try and find the queen. This is fatal because <laughs> when you actually want to look for her, you can't uh, find her. Well, I've said it now, haven't I? Yep. So she's likely to be where she can lay. Yeah. Um, I'm bound by it. Oh, and oh, there's a couple of large, large queen cells there, a bit larger than normal, but, mm. but shouldn't be a problem. I'm hoping it's a play cell because it's surrounded by um, that void. Yeah, the other one looks a little bit more. But you can see if there's an egg inside of it if you want to later. Can you no, see? Nothing in there. No, it's empty. Phew. Okay. Phew. That's lucky. But yes. have you ever had any swarms in, um, in January, February? Oh, I have. Yeah. I have actually. I've, uh, not my own. I've been called out to collect swarms. Mm. I, I've actually had a swarm on the last day of autumn as well. Oh. So um, just goes to show they'll they'll take off whenever they fancy. Really. That must have been an extreme case, though. Mm. Okay, now I have. I know I'm checking the end, but I haven't seen queens on the last frame before, hanging out with the drones. No brood on this one, which is no surprise. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, Lyndon had a successful inspection of your hives. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And what's your plans for the future uh, in the next couple of weeks? Well, in the next couple of days, I'll be back here with my extractor uh, on the rickshaw, extracting probably nearly four boxes of honey, uh, giving them more frames, more room, and managing that second to end hive there where there's no queen. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. And today you'll be able to give some um, some honey to the hotel, to the hotel for their breakfast yeah. bar. We're going to give them a lovely frame of uh, white comb, a new frame, and their, their guests will be able to help themselves to pure raw honey. And the guests can look out here and see the hive, see where it came from. They can, they can just look out the window and see us working them, yeah. And also notice we seem to be very close to the Rialto here. I hadn't quite noticed it, That's but right. if, I, if I go across to the hives and then go up, um, maybe we've got some people who are watching us as we do our work with the hives. So this is truly a city city hive. Oh yeah. At uh, Rialto and Melbourne style. Melbourne style Rialto, using Italian bees, of course, with the flavour of uh, of the. Area.